Let's play a guessing game. I have a bag full of things. I will take out one thing at a time. You have to help me to guess whether that thing is long or round. Ball. A ball is round. Toothbrush. Toothbrush is long. Cucumber. A cucumber is long. Orange. An orange is Round A ruler A ruler is Correct Long What is next? A pomegranate a pomegranate is round. A stick. A stick is, tell me, long. A bowl. A bowl is round. What is next? Pencil. Pencil is long. Pen. A pen is also long. What next? Bat. A bat is long. Let's take out the next thing. This is a coin and this coin is Round. So, these are few round things and these are few long things. Students, there is some homework for you. Look around in your house. Find out five different things which are long and five things which are round. Make a list in your notebook and draw there pictures. What rolls? What slides? What rolls? What slides? Students, objects with a flat surface, flat surface will slide. Objects that are round will roll. Now let us take a few examples. Orange. Orange is round. So let's see whether it rolls or slides. Rolls. Orange rolls. Sharpener. A sharpener is having a flat surface. So let's see what happens. So the sharpener slides. Pen.
A pen also slides. Pencil. A pencil is having a flat surface. Let's see what happens. The pencil slides. But students, pencil is also round. So let's see whether this pencil can roll or not. Let's check. The pencil also rolls. A mobile phone. A mobile phone is having flat surface. So tell me students, what will happen? Correct. The mobile phone will slide. Let's check. Mobile phone. Slides. Tomato. Let's see what happens with tomato. Tomato rolls. Coin. A coin is having flat surface. So, this coin will slide. Let's check. The coin slides. Students, coin is also round. So, this coin will also roll. So, coin slides and rolls. A dish. This dish is having a flat surface. So tell me students, what will happen? Flat surface. So this dish will slide. A ball. A ball is round. So tell me students, what will happen? Correct, this ball will roll. The ball rolls. Spoon. Let's see what happens with the spoon. So, the spoon slides. So, students, we have seen some examples of things that roll and slides. Students, little homework for you. You have to find five things that roll, five things that slide. Do this experiment at your home. The tallest tower. Students, the objects which have flat surface. Flat surface can easily pile on one another. And this forms a tower. But objects that are round cannot pile on one another. Let us take a few examples. Students, let us take these boxes. The box has flat surface. So let's see whether we can make a tower from these boxes or not. Flat surface. One more box. So our tower is ready.
Now let us find out whether we can make a tower using this tomatoes. Oh, let's try one more time. It falls. So, tomato is round. So, round things cannot pile on one another. Let's take these matchboxes. They are also having a flat surface. So, let's make a tower. flat surface. So, our matchbox tower is ready. Coin. A coin is also having a flat surface. So, let's make our coin tower. Flat surface. So our coin tower is ready. Students, little homework for you. Look around in your house. Find out five different things that can be used to make a tower. Make at least three different towers. Also find three things that cannot be used to make a tower. Do this tower experiment at your home. How strong is a postcard? This is a postcard. I am holding it like this. Now I want to see whether this postcard can hold this marker on its top or not. Let's check this out. I am keeping this marker on the top. No, so the postcard cannot hold the marker on the top. So now, let's make our postcard stronger. I am folding our postcard. Now, let's stick it. I am using cello tape to stick the postcard. Now let's see whether our stronger postcard can hold the weight of this marker on this top or not. Let's keep this marker on the top. Perfect! So, our postcard is now strong enough to hold the marker.
Students, there is some homework for you. You have to try the postcard experiment at your home. Coin play. Students, now I'm going to show you a very simple trick using coins. This is a coin. Hold the coin like this and spin it. Let's do it in some other way. So, the coin spins. Let's try with this coin. Wow! Wow! So our coin spins. Thank you.